The Brooks Glycerin 21 is a max cushioned high mileage trainer designed for easy and recovery runs. I'm Brandon with Running Shoes Guru. I've run over 80 kilometers in the Glycerin 21 and this is my full review. Super soft cushioning for supreme comfort. And that's how Brooks describes the Glycerin on their website. My first experience with the Glycerin was the 16th version. It wasn't a super soft trainer back then and now five versions later, it's still not a super soft trainer. The Glycerin is one of the firmer max cushion trainers out there on the market. Last year's version was a massive update because they changed the midsole from a regular EVA to a super critical one. And this year we get a smaller update, but we still get a brand new upper midsole and outsole. There are two noticeable updates to the midsole of the Glycerin 21. The first is that there's two millimeters of extra foam in the heel and the forefoot. So there's more cushioning and the ride is plusher. The second noticeable update is that you get these lateral side rails on the midfoot and the forefoot. Now, I don't think they needed to add these because the Glycerin 20 was already a very stable neutral shoe. And if you need extra support, the Glycerin GTS version, which is the stability version, has these side rails. The Glycerin 21 is a brilliant long run shoe because it has deep cushioning and it's easy on the ankles because its midsole isn't overly soft. I did a 35 kilometer long slow run in it and I really enjoyed how comfortable and sturdy it felt. Even though it has a DNA Loft V3 midsole, which is super critical, it doesn't feel as bouncy as you'd expect. The ride is very padded and it absorbs shock really well, but it doesn't make me want to run fast. It's only good for easy and recovery runs. The outsole is quite different to its predecessor. There's less rubber on the midfoot and the forefoot to save weight. And this makes the forefoot more flexible. The rubber lugs are thick and hard wearing, so you won't have any durability issues. I've run over 80 kilometers on my pair and it's barely showing any outsole wear. The upper of the Glycerin 21 is luxuriously padded with smooth lining on the inside. I have no issues with hot spots or heel slippage, but I do find it extremely warm. It's got this new knitted upper, which conforms to your foot better, but it's thicker and it's much warmer. I find it true to size, but overall it has a narrow fit. Version 21 has a wider and more comfortable toe box than its predecessor. The Glycerin 21 still doesn't have that super soft cushioning that Brooks advertises. But that's okay because not everyone wants a soft max cushion trainer. I personally prefer my max cushion trainers to be lighter and more bouncy, but I'm considered a light runner at only 60 kilograms, so I don't think I'm benefiting from the Glycerin's tank-like build. Version 21 is definitely an improvement over version 20 because it has a softer, plusher ride due to the increase in stack height and it has a more comfortable upper with a wider toe box. If you're a big Glycerin fan and you plan on picking this one up when it comes out, let us know down in the comment section below. Once again, thanks for watching. Please like the video and share it with your friends.